Kan. Nah. Ya. Hey guys, welcome to the final chapter of our southern trip. Actually, I was supposed to show you a lot more of the island birds here, but I found out a lot of the footage was drowned with my iPhone. So sorry. We we'll jump straight on the boat and head to Kokodan. And even a smaller island further out from Kamu. Let's see how it looks over there. So we've arrived at Bokanan. It's low tide now, so the boat has to be parked in deeper waters far away from our resort. This is gonna be a long walk. <sighs> Someone should come with a trolley for our bags. After the kids had their welcome drinks, someone showed us to our cabin. This is the best one available on the island. Not bad, considering its remoteness. After taking a quick glance in our room, we were more interested to go swimming. So, let's go!
this is terrible. Look at that. Look at that. All dead. Nothing's alive in the distance. We're looking for something the slightest bit interesting. And we find nothing except for this little blue fish. This is such a shame, really. We came so far to be disappointed. I'm no expert ecologist, but one thing I know for sure is the water temperature that flows through this region must have something to do with it. Like the case study in the Pacific, one and a half degrees Celsius rise in temperature can mean death to miles of corals. On top of that, green management is rival in situations like this. Closing down of human access is very important in giving nature a chance to heal. Here in Thailand, the Navy plays an important part of re regrowth, that's for sure. But I wonder why they aren't here to fix this disaster. Okay, let's go check out the deeper waters and see if it's any better. Hmm, doesn't look that good. There's not much fish or creatures in this water too. Except for these people, the mature monkeys. Maybe I should just get on a kayak and head for deeper waters. Of course, we have a fishing rod. Let's see what else is in the water besides all these dead corals. Fishing, my Thank <laughs> you. 
Someone once told me, if all fails to try, try again. And the very next day, something happened. Come in, come in. Mm -hmm. What? What is that? Let's see. get stuck so we can catch fish without leading lead it a total of two nights on this island of the God. We had high expectancies for this island because it looked so nice from from the card postcards and all. When when we got there, well the resort was not our objective. We went to this island to check out you know the sea. The living creatures in the sea. And to show the kids the beauty of snorkeling. But in reality, there was nothing that we found that was really interesting. So, in a way, we we're kind of um, glad it was over so we can to the next destination.
We're back again. Back on land. Finally. Oh, my car's still there. Before we head back to Bangkok, we made a stop at Pak Panang, located on the Gulf side of the Thai coast. This town is a favorite for people in search for birds' nests. One of the most sought after items in Asia due to its high value. And I'm gonna buy some for my favorite customers. So here we are again. We're gonna cross a boat over to the other side of the Pak Panang River. On the other side is a little market, they call it the Moi Pi. The Tala Moi Pi, it means a hundred years. So I don't know how it is. Uh, oh, almost a hundred years already, anyway. So we can go ahead and just go over and take a little look. The boat fare cost is just very well, only one body. Who will you them? So cheap. Yeah, let's go. So this is what that um, hundred year old market in Pakana looks like. Look around here. Old shops selling these glasses. Okay. And they say it's a hundred year hundred year old glass. What are you eating? Mm -hmm. That's all. What are you eating? What's that? Before we go anywhere, I know these shrimps are still alive. I'm gonna buy some. I've got oxygen in the car, so I'm gonna revive these ones and I'm gonna go fishing.
There you are. One minute. Is that a snag? So, we are here in um, Pak Penang River. In the river mouth. There's, um, you see this, this water's just coming in now. And you can see all these um, uh, rod holders on the floor. It shows that people who've been here last night. And I see some fire and, um, you know, firewood left over from perhaps people last night. Um, yeah, there's also some fish scales on the floor. So obviously some, someone's been catching something last night. You know, it's quite fresh. And today it's another day. Today, and now it's only about 11 ish. Looks promising. Water's coming out nice and sunny. And just dropped in a couple of liveies. Uh, see what happens. No one uses the Paternoster Reek here in Thailand. Only me. Perhaps I'm the one who knows how to use that. Um, I broke one rod so I'm using this on bait casting. <laughs> bait casting reel. And I've got um, a bucket full of live prawns. Jumping everywhere. Uh huh. Still going. You see that? That's the that's the size you want. I haven't got any other hooks except for this one, is, which is just perfect. And the third, in the third section, insert it. That will keep the prawn alive and kicking. And if in the end you don't use it, so release him and give him a second one chance. Okay. I'm gonna go flick my rod now. You know, in the frying pan. Go, go, go. See you, bye bye. See you, bye bye. Go. Make a lot of babies. Bye. And the way come to news. But not long after, too, I started to pack it up because I promised the missus some local seafood. The people around here close early, so don't go and expect a lengthy candlelit dinner. People around here are powered by sunlight, so once the sun goes down, so do their eyelids. Yummy! Yummy! Yummy, 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 yummy. Yummy! <laughs> Mom! Papa, is that a girl or boy? Where? Crab? Yeah. Gay crab. Girl? <laughs> is that a girl? Yeah. How many girl? Mm -hmm. Two or one? Ah! 
After our seafood dinner, we took a drive along the National Park. This place is called Nam Tanukuk. Hurricane Harriet that took tens of thousands of lives. During the year 1962, roughly 55 years ago, this cave was populated by a Muslim majority. Hurricane Harriet swept over the cave, flooding the entire cave, washing away all living creatures. To this day, the signs of that disaster still remain as if it only happened yesterday. So from here, I'd like to make a closing to our Southern Trip 2020 Part 3. As an encore for this trip, the kids and the missus have all voted to make one more trip down south. To which island, please stay subscribed and I'll let you know. For now, stay safe and bye bye.